Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to discuss about application lifecycle management of SPFX solutions. So to understand this topic, let's look into a diagram. So guys, I have drawn this diagram. So this diagram represents the SPFX solution development stages. First stage is called build stage. The second one is the test stage and the third one is the packaging solution stage. So what do generally we do in the build stage? So in the build stage, we basically perform these three activities. So in this three activity the first one is the one time activity where we install spfx using this command and it is one time activity and what is that command is it is npm install hyphen g at the rate microsoft slash generator hyphen sharepoint the next thing we do is we generate the boilerplate code with the help of yo at microsoft slash sharepoint here i have written web part but this command is used to generate any kind of a boilerplate code like sharepoint extension web part library all kind of SPFX solution. Once we generated the code with the help of Yeoman generator that is a scaffolding tool then we will write the logic as per our requirement inside the boilerplate code. Once it is being done then we will move to the next stage that is the test stage. Prior to running the gulp so we must have to write gulp build so that it will build the solution. But internally when you write gulp so it will also execute gulp build to build the SPFX solution. So once gulp so is executed it will open the local workbench. We can also test our logic in the local workbench with the mock data but usually we use hosted workbench that we will see in further session. This is the second stage and suppose if everything goes well we will make it ready to ship to production. So what generally we do? So to take it to the production we first bundle it with the help of gulp bundle minus minus ship to bundle all the logic into a minified version of JavaScript and those logic we have written into the type script. Once it is being done, then we can package our solution with the help of girl package hyphen solution minus minus ship command. And with the help of this command, we will generate the SPPKG file and that file we generally push it to the app catalog. And what is app catalog? App catalog is a repository or say location where we can keep our custom solution. And once your solution is deployed to the app catalog, it is ready for the installation inside the site collection and once it is being installed into the site collection you can use it in any of the modern pages as well as the classic pages so guys i hope all these knowledge making sense to you if it is not making sense to you don't worry we are going to write the code in the upcoming session where you will understand all these concepts which we are discussing now and once we perform those exercises then i recommend you come back again to this session and try to relate all these concepts with the steps which you are going to follow or i can say with the steps which we are following so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care